www.ebitmoney.com. Educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. For all you 382 lovers, I have posted the chart of the euro over the last several days that we've been talking about this uh, just about every day, also in the videos to watch for a quick 382 retracement. And as you can see, we hit it to the tick today. Market immediately dropped $700. Right now, if you're in that trade, You've got an over $500 profit. You certainly don't want it to go to a loss. So make sure you put your stop in where you protect at least $100 or break even either way. But you shouldn't let it go to a losing position. I mean, it's frustrating when you have, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars that goes back to even. But, you know, that's the name of the game, folks. We don't know which ones are going to work and which ones don't. Uh, fortunately, I wish I did. But. I don't, but if I did, God wouldn't probably let me share it anyway. <laughs> okay, let's move on to a couple other things. By the way, our guest today will be Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Uh, always got some great information. He's got some really nice charts today. He's got 10 of them, but I wanted to show you one today that uh, we've been chatting about here for quite a while, and that is the uh, Treasury bonds. This happens to be the... Uh, 30-year bond in the September contract. And as you can see, we came within four pips of the exact 61% retracement today before rallying $1,500. So that's probably a good bottom down there at that 137 level. So that's what we're looking at right now. As you can see, we, we talked about this again. You see the A, B, C, D pattern right here. Then you see another A, B, C, D pattern right here, double A, B, C, D coming in almost exactly at the 61% retracement. These numbers that we add to come up right near that same level also within a few pips. So that's what we were watching when we were looking at. Now you notice this one, this one missed the high by about four pips. Now the high came in exactly at the 50% retracement, but the A, B, C, D was measured above it. But as we hear from our good friend Albert Einstein, he said that mathematics precedes geometry, and that's uh, something that we don't want to worry about. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> okay, sorry, I thought I turned the phone off. My bad. Anyway, let's move on here, and we will move over to the next chart that we want to cover because we've got a few of them here that are very interesting before uh, Jeff comes on, and, of course, he has some Really great stuff. Here's one to get ready for, folks. We talked about it yesterday. We're going to update it today. we got to get ready for it because we've been watching this. for. Uh-oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Hit the wrong button one more time. Okay, here's we're going to move out to the old cornfields now, folks, because we're having some really strong movements here in the grains. You'll see we had that beautiful 135 pattern and right here at this level right here. The problem with these people getting the phone, folks, it's election time and everybody wants money. Okay, and they won't trade, so the heck with them. I'm not going to give them any. Anyway, you'll notice here that we've got an ABCD pattern stretching up here to this level here, up around the uh, 666, the old devil's number. And so we need to watch the Christmas corn here tomorrow or the next day. That will be up into this area right here. Uh, if you're long this, which I hope you are, uh, you know, we'll be looking to take profits up in this area, but we've had a pretty good chance. A few days ago, we went right down to the 382, right into that report, and then we started to go higher. So that's what we're looking at uh, right here. Uh, if you're in the stock indices, uh, of course, uh, we're down a little bit today. Had a big break last night that we went down to uh, drop two. Well, we dropped 250 points in the Dow Jones E Mini, and then the Dow Jones E Mini came and took it back. I mean, that is a very, very difficult 
thing to do. But now I want to share with you a chart from um, a yearly matzo. I don't know who this guy is, but he brings out a really interesting chart here that I think someone sent me on Twitter. And because it has so much harmony and the stuff that we believe in, I want to bring it up here to show you what you're looking at. What you're looking at here is that same, nothing more than the one, three, five pattern. Now, what he's doing, he's just showing you how the market reacts against these moving averages that appear. And that's what we're seeing. But there's a pattern out here in one of the major stocks. In fact, it's more in, it's, it's in more than one of the major stocks. And boys and girls, you got to pay attention here. Even if you go to sleep for the rest of the day, play attention right now. Because this is where the game is being played over there at the NASDAQ. And this is a very, very important chart. It may not mean anything, but boy, the pattern sure does. And let's get it up here. Here it is, folks. You can see this is an island reversal in Microsoft, one of the most heavily traded stocks that, that trade, okay? It is really way up there, all right? It's one of the FANG stocks, okay? But look at this. Can you believe this? Everybody that bought it in the last two weeks, it gaps down on Monday. I mean, my goodness, this is telling you that they trapped them. That is flat out trapping, and it's coming exactly at the 50% level. Now, this basically is the 135 pattern. There's the three. The one is way back here. So th this is really important. All we need, we had a bad day yesterday. The Dow was down about 700, but it rallied back, as I mentioned, 250 points. Couldn't even get close to the 382. I mean, it was, uh, it was just too far away. To, to hit the 3A2, but the others did okay. Anyway, you'll notice here, as we get to this level here, everybody that has bought it now over the last two weeks, this is an extremely bearish. If you turn this around, this would be an island reversal on the bottom. Oh, my goodness. That's the best kind of news you could possibly get. So uh, this is we're, – we're in, we're in danger zone, folks. So pay attention to that. This is very, very important. Now, if the market rallies back and gets above, rallies back about 20 points in this, this pattern has failed, and you got to go on and look at something else. That's really what you have to do. There's just no other, no other way that you can do it. So if you'll do that, I think you'll be uh, pleased to watch it because that is an extremely bearish pattern in Microsoft as we look at it you know, here today, a very extremely, extremely bearish, no question about it. And I think people should pay uh, close attention to that chart. Not only that, it's not just in Microsoft. Someone alerted to me uh, from one of our listeners and showed me uh, six or seven examples. But the one that jumped out at me the most was Microsoft because, you know, it was so very, very important. And it's, it's really important. You remember here uh, last week, we talked about the fact that when you look at this market compared to 2008, and we'll get this up here right now before we take a little break here, you'll see here, there we are. There's your number right up in here. That's your 200-day moving average, and that's exactly what happened to us, uh, you know, Sunday or my Friday. That, that was the number. That's uh, what we were watching. So we'll be right back, 877-927-6648. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio Tom O'Brien is here to help Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years a frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. I wanted to move our uh, operation over here to a natural gas because we've got uh, a lot of things happening over here today. Uh, bring this up here. Uh, we made new highs, of course, in natural gas, and uh, it has had some really big moves. So I wanted to go through those just to show you. There's the natural gas. You can see we have made higher highs than yesterday. Uh, we didn't quite make that 1.27 expansion up there, but we came very, very close. But what's happened since that time is what's interesting. And let's get this up here because we were up substantially uh, in natural gas. And I'm just going to move over to an eight-minute chart so we can show you the pattern that I'm looking at. By the way, I'm planning on doing a full-day trading, the last one of the year. I do two every year. It's going to be on September 20th. Uh, five hours of trading, and I'm going to do a heck of a lot of trading more than I do teaching because I'm going to do some teaching, of course, because there's going to be questions. But the main thing is, is I'd like to uh, make a little bit uh, more money. We've done okay. This will be our fourth one. We did really well on the first three. I assume we're going to do do okay. But uh, this is what we're watching here in the NAS. In the when it goes up and makes new highs, you see that it makes new highs like this. Doesn't go anywhere. And you've got that nice little A, B, C, D pattern right there. Gee whiz, that's a really, really good place to go short. Because all the first of all, all the stops have been taken out. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. And you've got the A, B, C, D pattern lined up right there. Huh? That's as simple as could be. Now look, the market breaks really badly. Look at that. It goes down and takes all the stops out here. Then it rallies. Where to? Yes, boys and girls. Mr. Rogers is telling you the truth. It rallies right to 0.382, and then this is what we call giving up the ghost, baby, because when you catch one of these, this is the falling safe. Folks, that move right here was $4,000 in eight minutes. Now, that's more than you can make as an auto mechanic, almost. So anyway, that's what we're watching. Try to get these entries. It don't always work. But by golly, when the ones that do work, work, it makes you a happy camper. And that's what we're paying attention to uh, right now. I would tell you another one, but it's probably the one that's not going to work today. But that's enough. We'll do enough, a little bit more teaching. Remember, we've got Jeff Huge coming up in about 10 minutes. And that's always a, a good thing. The chart that we posted in our newsletter this past week of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, uh, that chart 
just where is it? Doggone it. It's down here at the bottom somewhere, I believe. Uh, there it is. Just get it up here. This chart right here. It's being shown so many places on the Internet. Now, this morning on Bloomberg, I saw it three different places. So there's a lot of things on the Internet. Everybody is talking about this right now. Uh, the time to be talking about it when it was right at the 78% retracement four days ago. Now it's dropped over 1,000 points now in the Dow Jones. And uh, this is, I believe, just getting started. We've had a rally today. Uh, in fact, the rally gave it up, so we've got to – calculate the new rally if we get one uh, the first rally was 250 points so we'll watch for another one but when you're down 1100 points you know 250 points is not even anywhere near it's only 20 percent it's not even near a 382 so that's why you've got to be ready for it and to change your adjustment on these as you start to to see them you know going through here uh each morning that's the the whole thing to uh pay attention to the other one that I that I'd like to talk about is to get a little bit more of what's going on here I want to talk about this uh, corn trade that we were looking at we'll just get this up here to take a look at it this is right out of the newsletter and last week we talked about it of course after the report we had a pretty nice move we've now traded almost uh, up here folks we came very very close to this level here that's what I was pointing so that's going to be a that is going to be a in a down market. Okay, that's going to be a, a one three five. Uh, let's try it again. There's there's the one, there's the three, and there's the five. It's also going to be a three drive to a tiny top, one top, two top, tiny top. Tiny tiny top means it's not the top, but it's a top less, but it's still A B C D. Another one coming in there. That's a that's a darn good trade, folks. I I know the whole world is dying of food, but you got a bear market, okay? Um, you know, we got lower highs and lower bottoms. We sure have, and now we've got this nice pattern coming up in the corner. I, I got to pay attention to that one. By golly, you know, I don't know if you believe in numbers or not, but this is what we're looking for. So let's sort of pay attention to it. August is the month of the soybeans, folks. If soybeans aren't completed here. And they're not – after the 30th of uh, uh, August, it, it used to be this way. I don't know about all the stuff they're putting in the, the crop seeds these days. But after the 31st of August, that, that uh, crop pretty much has to be made for the uh, thing to be uh, really good. So unless something really dramatic happens, we might get a good crop in all these and the world is going to be saved. Now, because you joined me today, there's going to be a special – group trip today we are going to go to deutschland folks we are going to go to germany and see what's happening with the oceans and the gumi oceans i won't tell you what that means but <laughs> well i should tell you what it means anyway uh it means going in your diapers my my uh, my sister carla when she got married uh, nine months after she got married, she had a baby. You can figure those numbers out yourself. But he was in the service, and they were in Germany. And uh, the uh, the little girl, uh, Christine, was born. And uh, the problem was that uh, my daughter didn't – my daughter, my sister, really didn't like uh, doing the things, uh, diaper stuff. But in Germany, Scheises uh, in Zagumihosen means uh, a pudding or so in the – uh, underwear of the little baby anyway that of a, of a diaper that's what it means okay get back to the number get back to this you see here that you know we have come down very very quickly beautiful three drive to a top pattern up here as you can see in the purple and so uh, this is acting pretty much like we expected to the next one now we get to get back on the plane and we're going to go over to the United Kingdom, if I can find the United Kingdom, and guess what? Here is the United Kingdom coming up. We'll get this up. By the way, I will be doing Tommy O'Brien's show on Wednesday and Thursday of this week, and also on Monday. I'm going to be doing that. I'll have a couple of guests, of course, uh, to help me get through, but uh, with, well, to give some great information, actually. So that's what we'll be watching. But here is the FTSE. The FTSE has hardly broken at all, folks. I mean, it's holding up extremely well, but we're very bearish the British pound, so we believe this is going to be pushing it down, which will help the pound move lower also. So let's uh, keep ourselves, you know, very, very closely aligned with that, too. Very, very important to uh, pay attention to that. Okay, now the euro continues to drop a little bit lower, so 
Pay attention to it, folks. Don't let that trade. If you did it because it was a 382, you know, don't uh, don't move around. I've got some new information about the 382 for entries that I, ha I haven't explored it all yet, but it looks interesting on a percentage of how to enter and without risking very much. It's a really good one to uh, pay close attention to, so we need to do that. Um, the um, one very, very important one. Oh, I got the break coming up here. Write this number down, boys and girls. 1772, sell the gold. 1772, why do we sell it at 72? Because it's a 382. 1772, $6 risk. We'll be right back, folks. Jeff Hughes. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights on the line. Jeff, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm great, Larry. Thanks for having me on the show. Well, you are great because, boy, you're predictions this year coming out truly so i've posted the first the first chart about the stock market is not as cheap as people think we we are just mystified how uh the vocal bull can you know reference this uh valuation discount uh in stocks relative to bonds when in fact 30 percent of the market is trading at a 12 percent uh premium to bonds we went through and we actually looked at the top 10 stocks in the S&P. Those stocks represent 29.5% of the index by market cap. And if you were to take a look at the PEs and price to sales ratios and just look at the weighted average of those, the top 10 stocks traded about 37.9 times on a PE ratio basis. And that's forward 12-month earnings and about 7.7 .7 times on trailing 12-month price to sales basis. That's 
three times the market's valuation on a price to sales basis and two times the market's valuation on a price to earnings basis. And here's the real, uh, you know, stinger to this. If you look at those top 10 stocks on a weighted average basis, their earnings growth was negative in the second quarter and their revenue growth was two percentage points below what the S&P as is is an aggregate index uh, produced. So, you know, we're, we're quite mystified how uh, bulls can look at this market and consider it cheap on any metric. Mm-hmm. Well, I agree with you, but, uh, you know, their day may be coming. Who knows? Now, the next one we're <laughs> going to take a look at is a little confusing uh, because you've got some great trend lines and stuff. But you want to tell us what we're looking at here? I think it's well, the yeah, notes so versus the dollar, right? That's right. So um, we're looking at uh, TNX, which is the 10-year Treasury yield. That's in green. And the U.S. dollar index in red versus the S&P 500, which is the black line. And what you can see is there's quite an inverse correlation to these. In fact, um, Treasury yields peaked about two days before uh, the S&P 500 bottom back in June, on June 16th, 17th. And uh, as soon as rates started coming down from that 3.5% level, stocks started rallying on the news. And in fact, about a week and a half, two weeks later, uh, the U.S. dollar peaked. Um, and actually, I take it back, uh, the second week of uh, July, the U.S. dollar peaked. And from that point going forward, the S&P started to lose momentum. Now, what we found was interesting, um, you know, around uh, old August 1st or so, yields found their low at about 2.5% and started rallying. And about a week later, the dollar found its low, and that began rallying. And the, the force of the two of those have really had a negative impact on the S&P 500, which rallied right into resistance and rolled over just as those two were taking off. So it really uh, puts into context this negative correlation between the two. And we think rising yields and a rising dollar are going to be a major headwind for stocks for the next two to three months. Wow. Well, this next chart is uh, spot on. We were talking about it just a little bit earlier, and that's natural gas because we've had quite a bit of reversal today after making a new high here in natural gas. And, of course, you're talking about it as a potential uh, tip, tipping point. Is that correct? That's right. Um, we've kind of been looking at this disparity between European natural gas prices and U.S. natural gas prices. And, you know, for a lot of people who haven't been following this, um, since Russia started uh, their war in the Ukraine, they've been putting a lot of pressure on Euro European exports of natural gas, shutting down the pipelines periodically, uh, and, and we're dramatically reducing the amount of gas that they're selling in. Um, that is the primary source of um, heating fuel uh, for uh, Europe, as well as electrical uh, fuel. And so, um, you know, without it, uh, basically Europe goes dark. And so the U.S. has been... Uh, basically shifting most of our exports of LNG, which is liquefied natural gas, to Europe. It's about tripled over the last year. And because of this big disparity in prices, about a you know 30 to 60 percent premium, depending when exactly you're looking at it, it's really incented U.S. gas producers to liquefy as much gas production as they can and ship as much as they can across the Atlantic as possible to try and maximize that profit motive, right? And what's really happened is it's put a ton of pressure on U.S. storage, U.S. supply, and that in turn has put price pressure on uh, natural gas here in the U.S. And you can see it in the continuous futures contract. Uh, we rallied up into that, you know, uh, roughly nine and a half dollar, almost ten dollar range, and have pulled back a little bit. But to your point, um, you know, what's next year? Maybe there's a little more consolidation necessary. But ultimately, this pattern sets up as a very, very bullish pattern where, you know, a, a sustained breakout above that $10 mark would support a move to about 13 and a half, almost $14, which equates to north of 40 percent upside potential in natural gas prices. We don't think that this price pressure is going to be alleviated uh, supply and demand is out of balance right now globally, and until we see price equilibrium, uh, we're going to see a lot more gas shipped to uh, Europe uh, at the expense of U.S. gas uh, customers. 
Wow, that's incredible. I was thinking of one of our friends today over in the UK told us that their bills have gone from $100 a month to $300 a month, and it's not even winter time yet. <laughs> so yeah. it's, uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. Here is the next one we're going to take a look at. Uh, and that, hold on, we'll get it up here so we can everybody can see it. The volatility is rising, which we would expect that, correct? Yeah, and in fact, what we're saying here is that the volatility of volatility is rising. Um, everybody knows about the VIX. The VIX is the volatility index. It looks at uh, really the amount of puts being uh, purchased relative to calls over the course of a year, it, it, you know, or the course of a, a given month, and you know, essentially uh, uh, projects implied volatility. But a lot of people are unfamiliar with the VIX, which is the lower panel here. The VIX actually measures the volatility of the VIX. And what we've noted over the past several years is that when you see um, a divergence in the direction of the VIX relative to the VIX, it's predictive. And at the bottom, you can see that you've got, since about uh, July 29th, the VIX has been trending higher while the VIX was trending lower. And that generally is a positive divergence that predicts a future spike in volatility. And, and just as we expect, uh, volatility yesterday spiked up above the 21-day moving average for the first time in about two months. Mm -hmm. And we suspect that that is the beginning of a major move that could carry the VIX up into the mid to high 30s and possibly to new highs uh, relative to what we've seen in, uh, recent, uh, in the recent 12-month uh, period. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is uh, guys, Jeff. I I love looking at these charts. You, I know you, uh, you 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 put them on there, and but when I look at the amount of work that went into that, I mean, it's just uh, really, it really totally amazing how you get this stuff done, and uh, and you do it daily. I mean, of course, you have to do it daily because you're managing money and stuff. But uh, the quality of the work is really spectacular. And now here's one for everybody that believes what we believe, and that is the bear market has peaked, and we'll get this up here. Uh, to take a look at it. It's amazing to me. It's so clear, and and yet people don't see it. I mean, I, I, I maybe I'm wrong, but by golly, this is. Uh... Oh, I wanted to ask you. Uh, I, I talked about a Microsoft chart that had a uh, island reversal pattern. I, have you looked yeah. at any of those? Because a lot of those have happened this last few days. I understand. You're, you're looking at an island reversal in the S and P 500 right now as well. Wow, that's important. Let's talk about that when we get back. Okay. Sure. 877-927-6648. We'll be back with Jeff Huge. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. We're speaking with uh, Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, and he's got the most interesting chart of the day, in my opinion, and that is this S&P 500. And we were talking about an island reversal, where the market yeah, goes you up. can actually see it, Larry, if you look at those little red I, circles, uh, those yep, bubbles. I sure can. Yeah, and that, I didn't even. That's a I didn't even. Pattern. I just looked at Microsoft because it was so clear. But when I see this one, it's doing the same thing. This is the most bearish pattern that you can get, in my opinion. We saw a very similar version of that back in uh, late March, early April in the S&P as well. Mm -hmm. Not quite as perfect as this one, but um, yeah. my guess is that bubble won't be filled. That last gap will not be filled, and this is about to take, uh, take out the prior lows. Uh, mm -hmm. I think those June lows will be taken out in the next several weeks, and we can uh -huh. expect the S&P 500 to decline steadily into late October, early November. It's interesting because... We rallied in three waves, an A, B, C, which I know you talk about quite a bit. We look at it from an Elliott wave perspective, and what we noted was that the C wave was two times the size of the A wave, which is a very common relationship. It tagged the 200-day simple uh, moving average, which was just below that descending trend line off the January-March peaks and rolled over hard down, and we expect it to continue lower. I think a break below the 50-day moving average at uh, around 40, 40, 81 right now would confirm that the bear market has resumed in force, and I would not want to be long stocks under those conditions. I have to agree with you. When I look at this, it's just really, uh, it's really something. Now, I have a question from one of our listeners. Do you follow the election sure. cycle that is, uh, you know, because we're in an election year, midterms, but do you follow that election cycle at all? I, I do. Uh, in fact, uh, we published a great chart of it in our week or our monthly newsletter, which you can find for free on our website, uh, that walks through exactly what we're thinking about. But, you know, during the election cycle, uh, if it's the first term of a new Democrat president, historically, the market has bottomed in June rallied into early to mid-August and then rolled over to bottom in late October at a lower low. And that's our expectation. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you, there's enough political stuff out there that make anybody scary. So we'll <laughs> have to wait and see uh, how, how that moves on. Now, I, I want to go on to um, the next chart that we have up here, and that is number seven. Let me see if I can find number seven. Here we are. Get up here. This is your Elliott wave count that we were just chatting about, so the folks sure. can take a look um, at it. There we go. So, so the bigger picture is is really showing that there's a major top formation in place, and then we're looking at a longer term chart here in the mm -hmm. Elliott wave count uh, that looks over the last 13 years from the 2009 low to the January 2022 high, and we call that cycle wave five. So <coughs> cycle wave five is the fifth wave of a five-wave pro progression that started in 1932. Uh, that's known as Super Cycle Wave 3. And if Super Cycle Wave 3 terminated, as we suspect, then what we've seen so far is just Wave 1 of a five-wave downside progression 
that should carry all the way to around S&P 2250, which is the general vicinity of a prior fourth wave extreme, the 618 retracement of the entire 13-year advance, which was a Fibonacci number, as you know, and also comes into um, the same vicinity as a rising 200-month moving average on the S&P. And so we think, you know, together all of these forces should act as some support. That, in our view, will only be wave A of an ABC correction of a much, much larger degree than anyone has witnessed since the early 1930s. Whoa, you said 1930s? Yes. I wasn't even trading then. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> that's, a, that's a major bear market, Jeff. No, that's, that's our expectation. I expect the same thing. I, some, I expect something a little more ominous than that, actually, because I believe the millennials will wake up one morning and realize that what it realizes what it be what it means to go to work for a living and you know have the pressure behind raising a family and all that other stuff so that's just hey into the politics <laughs> <laughs> one of our listeners just said it'll be the worst bear market since the time of uh, the year one uh, around christmas days what he said so <laughs> the birth of christ so i don't know if that's going to be this be true or not but we'll we'll have to move on uh, to this next chart, we've got a little bit, two more to, uh, yeah, three more to go here that I want to cover. This one here is you have a really great free monthly newsletter that I think the folks uh, should really pay attention to. You want to tell the folks how they can get this? I mean, it's uh, sure, absolutely. Um, you know, you go to our website at uh, jwhinvestment.com, <clears throat> and right in the middle at the top <clears throat> tab, you'll see a tab that says newsletter. Click on it, and it'll take you to our, our monthly newsletter. This is absolutely free. You can subscribe uh, to get it delivered to your inbox every month. We, we publish usually around the 31st or the 1st every month. And so we've got what we think is going to be a great one coming up here uh, at the end of this month where we're just going to detail everything that we think is going on in vivid color with, with charts and narrative. And I think it'll be fantastic. But um, it's interesting because... You know, sometimes that's not enough for people, Larry. They want more. They want to know, well, okay, we agree with you. We like your view, but how do we how do we trade it? You know, give us some ideas. So, you know, we've got this other um, option for $10 a month. You can actually become a member, and mm -hmm. we send you our top stock or ETF trading idea every Wednesday at roughly 1 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern time. And uh, basically you get the benefit from – our thinking, and, and really these are the ideas that we're giving our institutional subscribers that pay us a lot of money for this, for wow. less than the cost of a cup of coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, well, yeah, but you can't buy that cup of coffee at Starbucks for that price for sure. And anyway, <laughs> uh, how, how the folks reach you, my friend? Yeah, um, you know, go to my website. That's the best way, jwhinvestment.com. Or you can follow me on Twitter, at alpha underscore insights. Or just send me an email, jhuge at jwhinvestment.com. I'd love to hear from you. Well, listen, thanks for joining us. And, uh, gosh, it's really great talking to you and just seeing these charts. Uh, it, it's just really good. So thank you for joining us. We'll have you on again soon if you, uh, if you have the time, okay? Absolutely. My pleasure. Okay. You bet. Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, folks. Uh, there's the, how you can reach him is on the thing to go here. Now, I wanted to get back to the markets just a little bit because uh, we've had some pretty good action here with that 382 and the euro. The, the euro's breaking down more and more now after hitting the 382, which we expect. Uh, stocks are, you know, trying to stabilize, but Frankly, uh, this market is, they might rally for the rest of the day. I, I, they might, we just made a 382 retracement in the S&P up there at uh, 4141. And uh, now we're starting to drift off a little bit here. But the euro is at the critical level right now for the day. Uh, it needs to hold this level we're at is 996. Uh, we believe our, prov our, our number and that we want to be watching in the euro We'll come in at nine, uh, excuse me, let's try it again, at 94 is the long-term weekly. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648.
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're going to go back into history a little bit because we were talking about we just the other day that nobody wanted. Hey, we owe this to our good friend, Mr. Z. John Cheney here at the TFNN. Danny's always posting great stuff. Look at that. This is where he was buying was down in here, folks, right in this level right here. Now, from there, you can see here we have a higher bottom here right at the 7.8. Then we have the 3.82. This is the one we were talking about just two days ago. On uh, We talked about it uh, on Monday. And you can see we made the 3.82 right in here. We go up. What did we do yesterday? Pull back to a 3.82, and we're continuing to go higher. We're already above the one. Well, we hit the 1.618 level already today, and now it started to back off. So if we get a good break in wheat, you know, get ready to buy it because uh, it's going to have a pretty good run. We also have to watch that corn very, very closely, folks. That corn's a beautiful pattern. It's got Mother God and Country written right over the top of it. AB equals CD, AB equals CD, and 0 .50. Those are the kinds we like to see when you got three of them all together. Don't know much about the crops. We don't know how it's growing. We don't know how much it's costing the farmer to get his fields ready or anything. But we do know a bar chart, and we know how to read it. So if you got that ABCD, it's a chance of a lifetime. Believe me that it's a lifetime because if you miss these things, uh, there's going to be another train coming down the track uh, very easily to see this. Now, we're almost near the new lows of the day here. 
in the Dow Jones uh, E-mini, the S&P, uh, just almost tagged the new low just a minute ago. So we still think we're heading down into that direction. Uh, the euro still seems to come off. It's jumped all, more than 60 pips off the high of that 382 acting well. Uh, the, bo the bonds, folks, the bonds came within six ticks of that number down there at 120, excuse me, 136.26. We're trading a handle higher. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Stan Harley, 877-927-6648.